Good morning and welcome to the 2016 History Fair Awards live broadcast. My name is Nick Zeralek and I'm the Director of Curriculum for St. Lucie Public Schools. I'm joined this morning by Jane Whitaker, the Elementary Program Specialist. Together we will be announcing the winners from each of the History Fair categories. The first and second place winners from each category will be able to represent the district at the State History Fair in May. In today's broadcast, we will announce the winners from the junior or middle school division first. Following those announcements, we will move into the senior or high school division. Lastly, we will announce the special awards presented by the Daughters of the American Revolution and the Sons of the American Revolution. Now on to the awards for the junior division. The first category is exhibits. An exhibit is a visual representation of the student's research and interpretation of the topic's significance in history. Students can either participate as an individual or a group within this category. Within the category of junior individual exhibits, first place goes to Ariadna Hiller from Palm Point. Second place is Lance Fleschner from Lincoln Park Academy. Within the category of junior group exhibits, first place goes to Jacob Alberts and Justin McKinney from Manatee Academy. Second place goes to Tiana Hogan and Lexis Homer from Lincoln Park Academy. Congratulations to both the individuals and teams within that category. Our next category, websites, is the most interactive of all the categories. A website should reflect the student's ability to use website design software and computer technology to communicate his or her topic's significance in history. The historical website is a collection of web pages interconnected by hyperlinks that presents both primary and secondary sources and the student's historical analysis. Within the category of junior individual websites, we want to congratulate Southern Oaks Middle School student, Layla Artie, who has first place. And second place from Lincoln Park Academy is Lillian Bocher. Congratulations to both of these individuals. Within the category of junior group websites, first place goes to Northport K-8, Melanie Giacchetti and Alicia Morrow. Second place from Manatee Academy, Students are Meadow Dunbar, Savion Byers, and Christopher Wright. Congratulations to these teams of students. We will now move to documentaries, and the documentary is a presentation that includes primary source materials and also must be an original production. The documentary should reflect the student's ability to use audio-visual equipment to communicate the topic's significance. Within the category of junior individual documentaries, first place goes to Jamel Abram from Southport Middle. Second place goes to Melanie Blasco from Palm Point. Congratulations to both of these students. Within the category of junior group documentaries, first place goes to Janet Delancey and Annalisa Carbonato from Southern Oaks Middle. Second place goes to Haley Shad and Christopher Haskins from Oak Hammock K-8. Congratulations to these teams of students. Next, we will announce the awards for the category of performances. A performance is a dramatic portrayal of the topic's significance in history and must be in an original production. It is scripted based on research of the chosen topic and should have dramatic appeal, but not at the expense of historical information. Within the category of junior individual performances, first place goes to St. Lucie West K-8, Ms. Jacqueline Pont. Second place goes to Forest Grove Middle School, Kiana Frega. Congratulations to both of these individuals. Within the category of junior group performances, first place, St. Lucie West K-8, goes to Ryan Alexandra, Jeremy Clerk, Christy Lembo, Juliana Pack, and Alexa Tango. 
Second place from Palm Point, students are Megan Audette, Beth Casey, Tiana Cubane, and Natalie Rupert. Congratulations to these teams of students. Our final category within the junior division is research papers. A paper is the traditional form of presenting historical research, and various types of creative writing are permitted, but must conform to a general and category rules. The papers must be grammatically correct and very well written. For junior research papers, we would like to con congratulate Nicholas Young from Palm Point for earning first place. Second place goes to Joshua Prague from Palm Point. Congratulations to both of these students. Now we will move on to the senior division, the categories parallel with that of the junior division. Senior individual exhibits. First place goes to Port St. Lucie High School, Ms. Cherish Jackson. Second place, Port St. Lucie High, Carlos Torres. Congratulations to both of these individuals. For senior group exhibits, first place, Alicia Mendez and Catherine Nettleton from the College Preparatory Academy. And second place to Casey Rigano and Karina Tabor from the College Preparatory Academy as well. Congratulations to both of these teams of students. Within the category of senior individual websites, first place goes to Travis Seaton from Port St. Lucie High. Second place goes to Jasmine Kennedy from Fort Pierce Central. Congratulations to these individuals. Within the category of senior group websites, first place goes to Megan Rogue, Anna Richardson, and Miranda Thompson from College Preparatory Academy. Second place goes to Tobias Armstrong, Revan D. Paul, and Jeffrey Rapazensky from Fort Pierce Central. Congratulations to these teams of students. Within the category of senior individual documentaries, first place goes to Jonathan Zarati from Fort Pierce Central, and second place goes to Stephen Collins from Treasure Coast High School. Congratulations to both of these individuals. Senior group documentaries, first place goes to Josh Bredemeyer, Audrey Kost Kostanov, Shelby Arbaxneski and Diamond Rutuponti from the College Preparatory Academy. And second place goes to Fort Pierce Central, Shane Peacock, Ethan Sanders, and Jacqueline Savala. Congratulations to these teams, teams of students. Within the category of senior individual performances, first place goes to Q. Marcus Brooks from Fort Pierce Central High School. Congratulations to Q. Marcus. Within the category of senior research papers, first place goes to Natalia Magdalon from Port St. Lucie High School, and second place goes to Nicole Orantia from Port St. Lucie High School as well. Congratulations to both of these individuals. Now we will move on to the special awards. The first set of special awards comes from the St. Lucie, St. Lucie River chapter of the Daughters of American Revolution. They have judged the History Fair Junior Division entrance for the last four years. Each year, they pick winners who have done exemplary work in research and development of a theme from the early days in America. They would like to present this year's certificates of achievement and a $10 gift card to the following students. From Southport Middle School, Alana Freeman. From Oak Hammock K-8, Jeremiel Cartagena. And then as a group, from Alapata Flats, Riley Franken, Franklin, Megan Jimenez, and Rihanna Vaughn. This group is being awarded a $20 gift card to be shared amongst the members.
And for the final presentation, we would like to introduce the Sons of the American Revolution, led by Chuck McKinley, who will present our final award from the Sons of the American Re Revolution. Uh, thank you very much. I'm not Chuck, he's seated. My name is Jack Irvin, and I'm a member of Sons of the American Revolution, re-represented an organization whose ancestors took part in, fought in the Revolutionary War to make this great land of ours. It was a pleasure for us to be judges in your history campaign here. All of you provided excellent exhibits. I would like to single out one person, Jeremiah, it was so nice to meet you. Uh, your professionalism and the character you put into your exhibit was wonderful. And so forth, I would like to read this. The National Society of the Sons of the American Revolution to Jeremiah Cartagena for the Revolutionary Period theme. And at the 2016 St. Lucie County History Fair is awarded our Certificate of Appreciation and Recognition of outstanding support given to the Sons of the American Revolution, signed by Jay Weiss, our director at large. And if you're able to see this on camera, this is the award, Jeremy, congratulations. I also have one other thing for you. This is for you to do with what you would like because of the great attention you paid to your exhibit. This is a check for $50, congratulations. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for, for being here with us. We'd like to thank all of you for joining us for this 2016 History Fair Awards. The History Fair Awards would not have been possible without the hard work and dedication of students, teachers, and the History Fair coordinators at each site. And a special thanks goes to Ms. Kate Ems, the K-12 Social Studies Content Specialist, who has helped implement the History Fair program for the current school year. Kate is currently out on maternity leave with her first daughter, Scarlett Delaney, and we want to congratulate her. And finally, I would like to extend sincere thanks to WLX-TV crew for coordinating and conducting this live broadcast. Thanks for being with us, and again, congratulations, students, and we appreciate your hard work and dedication and look forward to seeing you next year. Have a good day.